Hey everybody, it's your girl Robin from Robin's Nest and I want to show you how I did this beautiful plant planter with resin and I did it free form. So hey, come on in, climb up in my nest and let's get this started. It's so pretty. Okay, so I've cut out a piece of plastic and I placed it on my work area and I have drawn this big circle because this is where I want to pour my vase or well, my planter um, on. I want to have it about this size but it may just seep beyond the lines. I'm going to use this glitter and I am going to use this other nice chunky glitter for my edges and I have uh, two other pigments that I'm going to use. One is violet, violet and the other one is like a, a dusty rose color. It's going to be really pretty and I've added them into my mixing cups so that when I mix my resin I'll be ready to just pour and stir. Okay, um, and your, uh, you want to make sure that you have your baby wipes for cleanup. Um, don't forget to um, have your cup for measuring ready. Um, you want to make sure you're working with your mask. Always, always with your mask, okay? And you want to, um, I'm going to use this vase also so that I can hang the planter on top. And you'll see what I'm going to do with that a little later, okay? You want it to be nice and tall so it'll fall right over it, okay? And you want to make sure your resin is equal parts. Um, if you need eight ounces, you want uh, four ounces of A and four ounces of B, okay? All right, so I am going to get started and um, I had to change the paper. Um, so I'm just going to use my imagination with my circle. Now I'm going to start with the glitter and I'm going to go all the way around. I do apologize. It looks like I have something blocked. Uh, my uh, mat is blocking a piece, a part of my uh, circle, but you'll get the gist of it though. So um, I'm going to go all the way around with that. And then I'm going to... Uh, make sure that it's all even and it's not going to be very very a perfect circle but that's okay because the resin is going to run somewhat anyway and um, as you can see the plastic is moving a little bit but that's okay you want to try to keep your edges um, together because you're going to be pouring more resin okay so I'm just going to let you watch and see what I'm doing okay I might just fast forward a little bit so that you'll um, see that um, all the colors are going to be really really pretty okay
So I stopped the video to show you that, as you can see, the plastic came up a little bit. It's rising where you can see the little white areas I'm pointing to. Like, like the resin is just not going there like it is in other places. So it's kind of important to try to have your um, plastic as flat as possible. But I'm going to continue on with it because I know it can. Um, this is going to work out pretty good. I'll fix it as I go. So I'm just going to go in the center now and start uh, putting more resin in and I'm going to try to go back and try to fill them little gaps up so that the resin will possibly cover it up. Some of it stays and some of it doesn't but that's okay we'll fix it as we go. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit so that you can see um, just how um, how quickly um, this is going to start developing and looking like um, looking a little bit better okay it doesn't look like much right now because it's just a big glob of resin And as you can see, all of the colors are running into each other. And in a few, you're gonna see how this resin is beginning to really spand out. So um, I have my extra little uh, molds ready for any extra uh, uh, resin that I may have left over um, to, um, not waste you know you always should have extra molds laying around i'm really concerned too because my resin is really spreading out and it's moving and i'm trying to figure out what am i going to do to keep it from overflowing so i'm going to use my torch to pop some of those bubbles that are in it also so now i got to think of what am I going to do? How am I going to keep this from running off of the table? So I need to come up with a plan on what I'm doing. Because right now I'm holding it up to keep it from coming off of the paper. And it's going to take about three to four hours for it to just sit and um, stop moving. For it to start curing. So I'm going to... Uh, take some popsicle sticks maybe and I'm going to put that under there to keep it from going over. So it's been about uh, three or four hours and I just placed the uh, the paper the plastic with the resin on it on top of that burgundy vase that you saw in the beginning so right now i'm just shaping it and i do apologize i meant to show me picking it up and putting it on it but i forgot to do that but you get the gist on what i'm doing i placed it on top of the vase so now i'm just trying to shape it with the little um grooves so that it will have some type of uh you know definition to it um, it's pretty easy to work with but again you have to wait about three to four hours before you can do what you see me doing now because if not it's going to run it will start dripping down it doesn't look like it will but resin moves when it's not really at that curing point where you want it to be so I'm just taping it down so it will stay the way I want it to be shaped. So um, after I do that, 
then I'm going to let that sit for a while so that it can cure um, until tomorrow, well, the next day. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit so that you don't have to be bored watching me do that, okay? So, okay, it's the next day and now it's time for to uh for us to demold it out of the plastic off of this vase okay so i'm just going to remove the vase away and um and as you can see the resin is still very uh soft it's not soft soft it has the shape that i wanted but um it is still flexible okay when you pour resin um, thin like this it takes it much longer to get hard you need to know that okay um, so you're going to see how flexible that it is still and the plastic comes off very very easy and see how it's falling that's because it's still um, somewhat soft okay and I really like the shape that it's in it almost looked like it's a shell from the sea um, I really like the colors um, uh, and I liked how um, the, the glitter the silver glitter looks um, around the edges I'm just gonna move that out of the way so you can get a good look at it um, what I'm going to have to do is to um, secure that area there so that it will sit right now it's unstable um, and I like the curvature of the back of it too so yeah we need to fix that so that it will um, sit up nice and straight okay I remember this is my first time making this so you're learning just like I'm learning or if I'm learning with as, as much as you're learning okay and by the way don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button and share my video it will help me with my channel a lot and I really do appreciate it so isn't that pretty though I love the way the colors came out and I love the edges how it's nice and ripply so now I'm just figuring out what am I going to do, how I'm going to fix this so that it can cure um, nice and sturdy and sit up. Okay, so um, I hope that, you know, when you do yours, that you um, plan a little bit better than I did. So I'm just going to take this take, take this tape. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use this painter's tape. So, hey, look at that. Look how it's folding up. I'm going to use this painter's tape to tape it so that it will um, stay the way that I want it to. So I'm just going to let you see how I did that, okay? So, okay, it took three days for this to get hard and it's nice and cured. And right now I just placed a cup of water with a piece of a pretty plant to sit inside so that you can see what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is your girl Robin from Robin's Nest. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you next time, guys.